Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Emma's Story. All right. I grew some balls, so let's go in here. <laughs> All right, let's light it up a bit. Oh, that didn't do Jack Diddley. Oh, seems to be blocked from the other side. Well, isn't that fantastic? Light it. God, this didn't do anything. Why even put them there? What the? <laughs> Suspicious footprints. Let's see. My father's study is locked. I need to find another way in. I, I, I need to find another way in. Locked. But I can faintly hear breathing sounds on the other side. No, you cannot. No, no, no you cannot. You cannot hear that. That is a lie. That is a dirty, dirty lie. That is a lie. That is such a lie. Oh, that is so much lie. Is so much lie. No, no, no. Oh, no. No. I'm saying no because uh, the back of my mind is telling me to leave that open just in case something is going to bug. But no. Okay. Let's leave it open. See what happens. I don't want to. Something's gonna come bursting out of there! Oh, it's nice and bright in here. Oh, that's so nice. Ah, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, I'm a fool to myself. But I know what you all want to see. Is this a piano that someone was playing? <laughs> I say, oh, it's all. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Why you be do that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Tin the box! Oh no. Mansion key. Uh, 25th December 1843. Emma, my daughter, I'm so sorry things turned out the way they did. And even more than that, I am forever sorry I never had a chance to explain everything to you. Explain. Why I disappeared. There was just never enough time. Not enough time for my work, my friends, but most importantly, my family. And now, look where my work has gotten me. If you're reading this, then I am already gone. I had hoped you would get up the courage to enter this room, my private study, and eventually come across this note. But if that is the case, then perhaps the day I have feared to come has already happened. If that object ever found, I found, ever gets into the wrong hands, the whole world as we know it could change forever. The whole world as we know it could change forever. There is so much more I need to tell you, but of course, not enough time. My lab and secret room, you know the one, are downstairs and through the wine cellar. I admit there may be things you'll regret, regret seeing down there, but it must be done. Emma, I am not sure what the best course of action is. I have heard many great perils in storing such an orb, yet I can already feel the changes taking place. Soon I will no longer exist, so I write this with haste while I still can. In any event, you must retrieve that orb and keep it somewhere safe, where it cannot possibly get into the wrong hands. There's an item in the dining room that you'll need in order to enter the wine cellar. Please be careful in there. Only God knows what I awoke under this estate when I found that object. Do take care of Neil. He's a good man for you. And be careful. Love you, Father Robert. You are doing so good. <laughs> Love you, Father. Love your Father Robert. Oh, that's not good. <gasps> ah, God damn it! I... Where did those chairs come from? I closed my eyes! Where did those chairs come from? Where did they come from? I... I left my lantern on. I was in oil, but I don't care. Where did those chairs come from? I... I don't even know. 
<laughs> that shouldn't have scared me. It was a poofer. I should have known it was a poofer, but then suddenly I lost her. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I didn't block it! Closet. Oh boy, I gotta get in the closet. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I got a second. Ah! Get in the closet. Oop. You didn't hear a thing, douche. God damn it, I should have closed the freaking door. I should have closed the freaking door. I should have closed the freaking door. I should have blocked it up. I mean, I should have blocked up the door. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. Go away. 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 Go go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Are you gone? Are you gone? Are you gone? Are you gone? Hey, what the hell? Maybe he busted down the wrong door? It's like a red glow coming from, I guessing, that room over there. I gotta go in there once he's gone. Up! Oh! Hey! Oh! Oh, he's gonna bust down that door? Maybe that was the bus door he was busting down. Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how, but this this custom story is getting to me. This this custom story has got me like a couple times down. We just started. Okay, what was in here? Anything? Smash barrel. Um, some boxes. Aha! No. Tinder box. That was it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Is that it? Looks like it. Some writing on the floor. I've never seen that before. What is that? Yeah, I've never seen these symbols before. I don't think anywhere in these games. Huh. This is not a full conversion mod. This is just a normal. This is just a custom story. Through the portal was a full conversion mod. This is, um. This is your normal, ordinary story. Well, this isn't normal and ordinary, but it's very good. The doors are sealed shut. You know what I want to know? What I was wondering while I was reading the note from Emma's dad is um, why Emma was still living in this place. Uh, why all of a sudden do... Where are the servants? Obviously, this is a mansion, so... <laughs> you think the servants might... <laughs> I don't like that. Already. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! Dip down the table, Dad. What are you gonna do about it? I'm breaking all the rules. I'm home alone. Yeah, dong. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it again. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I hate closets so much now. <laughs> Bones! I like that they got a female voice for the guests and stuff. That's cool. Picked up crowbar. Picked up tinder box. Turn off my... What the hell? This is a guy. <laughs> like spread eagle in there. Eagle, it burns! Okay. Did I get... Oh, yeah. The initials G... Ah... God, yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Oh. Something gonna happen in here? <gasps> ah, ha, ha, ha. Hide, no kid! 
kidding! No joke! <laughs> oh man, he's standing there in the doorway. Well, what am I gonna do now? You half cornered me. I see you in there. The thing I hate about these, uh, getting in closets for you guys, you can't see. Ah! I'm great. My sanity is draining. Come on, I can take her. I've got like the muscles of an Olympian. Ah! Ooh. You know, I, I, I was doing fine with the grunts before, but now. Ooh, he looks bad in that red light. He looks very bad. Okay, yeah, go away. Go away, friendo. No one needs you around here. No one needs you around here. Oh, he's still there. Okay, is he leaving? I think he's leaving. Let's just pray right soon, and then we can move on with our lives. Oh, not yet. There he goes. Okay, I think he's gone now. Huh, alright. Good. I was thinking that they were going to do another mannequin thing, but it's kind of intelligent because I would have I peed my pants. And they can't overuse the same thing over and over and over. It's all about pacing. Chick-chick. Oh, this is where the muscles come in. Oh, yeah. Half expecting something to happen. Music changed. Oh, no, level change. I was hesitant about entering that wine cellar. Hesitant about everything that happened that day. But I gritted my teeth and descended the long, dark staircase into the unknown. I like these type of, they look, I, I know that the, you guys have trouble seeing the living screen, but it looks like journals with sketches in it, it's very cool. Okay, this looks bad. So did the father like disappear somewhere in the house, or what? Ah, oh, no! The way to the lab is blocked. Is there a way to destroy these rocks? With my giant muscles? Oh, look, I'm going to make some explosives. 29th of March, 1824. Today I am nine years old, so I want to prove that I'm a big girl. I wanted to see what was found in the wine cellar. Daddy told me never to go down those stairs, but I wanted to anyway. I don't like it down here. It's dark and it smells funny. I hate all the icky bugs and... Okay, I can't even keep that up. And rats that crawl around. I smell funny smells coming from Daddy's lab door, but I can't get in because it's locked. I think I hear talking coming from the vents in the floor. Sounds like people are crying down there. I wonder what they are so sad about. Well, yep, that's opium. Hell yeah! I mean, just say no to drugs. Alright, so. Um. That's ah, an icky bug! Ugh, it's so icky! Oh, I hate the icky bugs. I wonder how old Emma's supposed to be now. She has a rather masculine hand holding that lantern. Just saying, Emma. Aha! Nitric acid? That sounds about right. Looks like we're gonna make nitric nitroglycerine. Tin the box, thank you. Doesn't like there, thank you. Alright, well, I'm just looking through here. Okay. 21st of June, 1829. I have discovered that mixing certain chemicals together yields a wide range of results. For example, mixing purified opium with ethanol produce, produces the healing compound ladonum. Conversely, mixing two relatively harmless substances together could produce volatile and even explosive mixtures. Care must be taken in these instances, as carelessly mixing compounds could result in serious injury. I must remember to use the chemical mixing container when doing this. In an effort to discourage accidental mixing of potentially explosive chemicals, I have made sure to place such chemicals in opposite wings of the cellar. Well, thank you, Dad! Oh, God, you don't let me do anything, Dad! Gah! 
Maybe if I mix two chemicals together, I can create an explosive compound to clear those rocks. That sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wreck it! <gasps> ah! Where? How? Why? Was he really there or was that just a fakey fakey one? Oh, that was a real one. He's really there. I ran by him. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, no, wait, I'm all out of time. I'm actually all out of time for once. So, I'm gonna actually do this, so. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye!